In today's data-driven economy, businesses need to shift their focus to create an online presence. What if someone could easily create a website front-end and back-end with little to no development experience? And what if, after developing, they could easily manage and scale their operation? It can be a challenge, even for experienced developers, to be able to connect their applications to their database. Having a developer build applications from scratch is no easy task. And on top of that, being able to have the requisite skills to be able to properly administer a database isn't exactly common either. But now, users can spin up an autonomous transaction processing database, ATP, in minutes on Oracle Cloud infrastructure. It's powered by machine learning in order to optimize its performance. ATP removes the need for users to patch, tune queries, and perform other administrative tasks on their database. Today's demo will show you how Oracle empowers users of all skill levels. Using Oracle Integration Cloud, or OIC, users can not only connect their applications to their database, but on top of that, be able to use VBCS, or Visual Builder Cloud Service, in order to make web applications with ease. In this scenario, a business is running a website where prospective clients enter their information in order to be contacted by a sales rep based on their geographic location. After the user enters the information, the web application returns three things the client status, market status, and a submission of confirmation. For small businesses, having the expertise necessary to create a front-end form for data input, database schema, and connect the two can be a challenge, but OIC makes it as easy as one, two, three. Let's begin the demonstration by first walking you through the completed application end-to-end, -end. then we will show how easy it is to connect OIC to ATP. On our web application made in VBCS, the user begins by inputting their information in the relevant fields below, and then by pressing this Find Market button. The application instantly returns their client and market status, along with a confirmation saying that their submission was successful. And in addition to that, a notification that a sales rep will be contacting them shortly will appear as well. The data submitted on the web page is stored in the ATP database. We use SQL developers and interface to see the data within ATP or we can see our latest submission pop up as a new row on the opportunity table. Making the web application itself was extremely easy. Um, in total, it took about a day or so to make this fully functional web application from scratch without writing a single line of code. And on top of that, OIC comes prepackaged with VBCS already, and so no additional type of purchasing or licensing is necessary. Along with the ability to make front ends, OIC enables easy and rapid back end development. OIC takes the inputs from the web page and performs a variety of operations on the ATP database. Now, let's take a look at making a connection to our ATP database. The first step in creating a connection is to first select the ATP adapter. We then give a name to the connection and then click Create. Then, we input the service name, which can be found in the wallet. Next, we'll configure the security, upload the wallet, and input the connection credentials. We'll put in our username and a password, and then click OK. We'll press Test, wait for the connection to get to 100%, and then click Save and Close. Now that a connection has been made to the database, we can begin to create the integration. We will be showing you the integration in its completed state. The integration begins with the REST connector that receives the payload from the VBCS application. All you need to do is paste the JSON payload from the VBCS application here. You can see the fields from the VBCS application. Next are the two database connections to ATP. The first invokes a stored procedure, get market, that searches for the relevant sales rep and market information based on the client zip code. The second ATP connection then runs a SQL statement that takes the client information and adds it to the opportunities table with the sales rep information. This allows the company to have one table of sales reps with their respective clients. The mapping between adapters governs the flow of data between the connections. And on this mapping, you can see the output of the first adapter and the JSON payload being mapped to be inserted into the opportunities tables fields. But the platform isn't only for designing integrations. You can also track each and every payload sent through every stage in the integration. Now, let's take a look at the monitoring page of OIC. Here we can see all of the integrations with aggregate metrics for each one. 
As you can see on the screen, for our integration, we can see that 4 has already been successfully processed. If we expand and look at the tracking, here we can see the history of our submission. In the event of a failure to process an integration, the monitoring functionality of OIC is critical for troubleshooting and provides specific feedback to help diagnose the specific cause of the error if one does occur. In this case, you can see that the green means that the integration was successfully processed in every stage. Now let's recap all of what we've seen with some notional architecture. A potential customer enters his or her information on the web form made in VBCS. The Oracle Integration Cloud receives this information and sends it to the ATP database. Once the database receives the information, it writes the new data to the Opportunities table and returns the queried information from the store procedure, which is the relevant client and market status. Then OIC formats the response, and a sales rep can see his or her assigned clients on the database in real time. While users can connect their application servers to ATP without OIC, using OIC enables non-developers to easily create front and back ends that talk to each other. Projects like these, which could have taken weeks in the past, can now be done in a single day. The combination of ATP with OIC enables the rapid development and deployment of integrations. Along with the simplicity of being able to make applications through VBCS, users are given many of the advantages of ATP as well. So things like patching the database and tuning queries are things that the user doesn't necessarily have to worry about anymore. And instead, they're given reduced response times to their applications. So in sum, the combination of OIC with ATP enables rapid development and deployment of applications.